Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to grow lettuce in hydroponic. So every season I start a bunch of lettuce seeds just randomly everywhere in the yard. And when they get to a good size, I would pull them out and move them. Uh, and at the same time, I just take a few and I take them inside to grow them in hydroponic. And the advantage of uh, growing in hydroponic is that you can control a lot of a lot of things uh, like there's they're not affected by season because they're grown indoors uh, the pests you can m control it very well that you'll be you won't have pests at all and they also grow very very fast so today we are going to pull a few of these out and we are going to take them inside and grow them so uh, this here I think these are um, uh, iceberg lettuce so let's go ahead and uh, dig them up and uh, and these are very easy to uh, to dig up and grow because all you have to do is just make sure a few of the root strand is not damaged and that's it and then we can just wash it off so I'll, I'll dig this one here you see and that's the plant right there so we're gonna rinse the, off the roots Let's go get another one. It's a different kind of lettuce. So here are some of my lettuce plants right here. They're still growing and these are the larger ones. So I would take one of these out. Let's just take a smaller one because I don't need a really big one. So here is a few that just clump together. So uh, we'll just take one of this here. This is a, a bib variety. There it is. Okay, so uh, let's clean this up and prepare it for planting. <laughs> okay, so here we are. My lettuce is nice and clean. And uh, if you try to clean it off the roots and there's still uh, something remain, that's fine. There's, there's no big issue. So here's the roots right here. So uh, we're going to get these containers right here. And then we're going to use a one inch net cup with a one and a half inch uh, rockwool cube. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to uh, wet these real quick. Okay, so when they're wet, they're easier to work with. So all I'm going to do here is just cut them down the middle right here. And then we're going to put our lettuce plant through here. Like so, and make sure the root is at the bottom. And the lettuce part at the top like so and then we're going to put this in our net cup right here and then the roots at the bottom like that and then we'll put it in here like so and so now what we need to do is give it some nutrients and so um, what I'm going to do is put five milliliter per gallon of water of this. This is just the grow series. Just shake it up and we're going to draw five milliliter. A little bit more. There you go. And we're going to add water. And when you add water, like this, nutrients first, then water, it mixes everything up nicely. So we want it to around the bottom of the net cup. Okay, that's about good enough. And that is it. We're going to take these into our tent and then we'll turn on the lights and then just watch it grow. Okay, here we are. I added these two plants and then two more in the five gallon bucket. And I may be adding a few more because we still have a lot of empty space. So this is my tent right here. And here is my grow light. That is the Far uh, Spider Pharma SF 4000. And it is now uh, on a timer for 10 hours a day. So um, 
it's going to be uh, turning on by itself and off by itself. So we'll just have to sit back and watch these plants grow. So uh, we'll update as they progress. Okay, here we are five days later. So the first few days, the plant struggled a little bit. It kind of flattened down because it went from outside being really nice and cool into a room here that is really hot. So um, it has to kind of establish uh, itself, you know, kind of get used to the condition. You see how the leaves are still soft, so, but um, they will make it back. This one made it back, so it's, it's not flattened anymore. This one is starting to uh, kind of grow a little bit. So still trying to adapt, and this one here too. But um, yeah, they, they don't look so good after five days, but after this, they are going to uh, get adjusted and will begin to grow, so uh, we'll come back soon. Okay, it has been 20 days and the plants are moving along very, very well. And man, these guys here exploded because these didn't get set back. Uh, they kind of get adjusted so quickly and then they just, they just grew and grew and grew. Same with that one there. These guys, remember, they kind of struggled a little bit and took a while to establish. So now they're just starting to come back. And this one as well, starting to come back. But uh, overall, they are just growing so well. I actually forgot that I was doing this video. So uh, let's go outside and we'll look at these and see what they look like. And I will show you why hydroponic plants grow so much faster. <laughs> okay, here are the plants outside. And these are the ones that are similar to the larger one in hydroponic system. And we did dug it out of here. And as you can see, these are a little bit smaller. And then for the bib lettuce, man, these are actually looking pretty good. They look better than the one in the system because the one in the system struggled because we dug it up and messed with the roots and all that stuff. But see, these guys are growing very, very well. And so let me show you the other spot where we took the plants from. Okay, here it is. This is the other spot where we took these, so one of the plants from. And uh, these are doing pretty well as well. Um, better than the one that was struggling in the hydro system and there are some that are still pretty small but anyway uh, that is usually how I grow some of these plants I just drop seeds everywhere dug a few out put them in hydro system in hydro you can pretty much control the temperature uh, bugs and all that stuff so they usually grow very very well very fast um, but uh, for for outside sometimes they grow on their own because in the cool months we get uh, the moisture from the rain and all that stuff so uh, they're you know they require very very minimal care and so both ways are great and I I do it every season but um, if you like the cleanliness clean, cleanliness of uh, uh, how your plants look then hydroponic is the way um, but if you just want to grow them outside because you love the organic stuff then this is also a better way so anyway that's uh, all for this video and uh, I hope you will try some of these out, grow it both ways to see what you like best. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.